Hey hi everyone, this is Mukesh Otwani once again from learn-automation.com. Today in this lecture, I will show you how you can parameterize your Jenkins build and how you can use this parameter for your regular execution. Okay, so just to show you this example, I will create a new job. But if you want to parameterize any of the existing job, you can do that. So in case if you want to edit any job, you can just go to that job, configure it and you can parameterize that build. So let me show you from the scratch. So I'm going to create a new job. I will give this job name is parameters. Uh, I will say parameter job. And now I can select any kind of project. Okay, so for the time being, I will select freestyle project because I want to show the different parameters that we can use. Click on OK. So as you can see this option, which is called this project is parameters. Click on this. And if you want to see more about this, click on this help section and you can see it. They will tell you how exactly how to use. So first thing that we have to notice here that in case if you are using windows, then we have to use the syntax. Okay. Percentage sign. And then we have to use the para parameter name and again percentage. And if you're using Linux, Mac or Unix, you can go with the dollar symbol. As of now, I'm showing you on uh, Windows. And if you want to see more information, you can click on this link called parameterized build documentation. So we'll open in a new tab. And we'll get some more information about it. Okay. So they have only given you two options. One is a normal string parameter and another is file parameter. But let me show you a few additional parameters which can be helpful in your project. Okay, so I will just click here. Now the moment you click on add parameters, you can see I have different type of parameters. So basically these parameters you can use in your script or whenever you want to trigger any kind of, you know, build, you can just pass this parameter. So based with the help of these parameters, you don't have to hard code anything. The moment you run this jobs, if these parameters are filled, it will take that value. Otherwise you can override these parameters. So the advantage of using parameters, like you don't have to hard code anything. Okay. Suppose you want to run your job with different options, different parameters. So you can just change the parameters and you can trigger your build. So let me show you a few of the parameters, which uh, I use most of the time. But if I don't cover any of the parameters, you can explore from your side. If you don't find any help, let me know in the comment section. I will try to create another video on this. So let's start with a uh, Boolean parameter. So as the name says Boolean, like it will have only true and false value. So you can pass any, you know, name of this parameter. I will say this as status. Status will be true false. So once you get this true false based on your logic, you can change like if the condition is true, do this. If the condition is false, do this. So if you click on this option default value, it will take the default value, which is true. And if you just uncheck this option, it will say uh, default value is false. So in the description, I will give any description. I will say, please select the status. It can be anything. Just see your requirement first and then check it once. And you can also see it will show you the preview as well if you click on this. So it's a, it supports HTML as well. So if you just give B tag, which is for bold, right? And I will just close this. So you can add HTML tags as well. So you can see it is in the bowl now. Let's add one more parameter, which is choice parameter. So this is just like a drop down. Okay. So suppose you don't want to give user that they should add any value. You just want to give them few of the options that they should only select these options, not more than that. Right. In that case, you can give this as a choice parameter. So suppose I just want to maintain this as a browser. So let me give few browsers. I will give Firefox or Chrome, give a new line. Okay. And let's add one more browser, which is edge browser. And in the des description, you can say, please, uh, select which browser you want to use browser to use for execution. Again, that's totally optional, but yeah, good to have this description. So if somebody else is running your build, they should know what this parameter is all about. Okay, let me add only two as of now, uh, click on save. And let's click on build with parameters. So you can see now this is your status, right? If you uncheck this, it is false. But if you check this, it is true. And these are the three options which is available. Okay, so as of now, we'll just add this and I can rearrange as well. So if you don't want this in this order, you can simply arrange them. You can just drag and drop. And you can change the order. 
let's add some more parameters so you can see this credential parameter so suppose if you have multiple credentials and you want to use any specific credential for this particular build you can do that so you can just add the credentials from here and you can select which credentials to use by default it will select the one which you will pass here okay and again in the credential type you can mention which kind of credential you're using is it username with password or ssh username with private key secret file text and certificate so i'm not using this as of now and if you see this file parameter as the name says this is basically a file uploader so if you give this uh, it will okay let me show you this part so suppose you have certain files in your you know uh, project that you want to upload so you can give this a relative path as well but if you want to upload any additional files as well you can do that here so you can just give the path here okay and uh, again let's add one more parameter so you can see this is multi-line suppose you want to give multi uh, line string parameters you can do that so if it, this is basically choice boolean so we have string parameter and multi-line so as the name says this will allow you to have multi-line string parameter and this is single parameter so let's try with string parameter so let me add one of the parameter let's say name by default it should take let's say jenkins but user wants to override they can remove this and they can add the new text okay and you can also add this option called trim the string now let's add one more parameter so this you can see right password parameter this is very interesting parameter so suppose if your test includes some uh, you know passwords so you can use the password parameter you can go with the normal string parameter as well but the problem here is like when you use string parameters and somebody can go to the console and they can see what parameters you have used okay so let's take this one uh, i will take this as a username okay i want default value jenkins and here i will say password so default value um, i don't want to give or so i will keep it blank and description again you can have so let's click on apply and let's click on save as of now i'm not accepting okay it is just i'm showing you how you can have these parameters now in few minutes i will show you how you can use this parameter in your program so you can see now i have this username and password is this if i just click here i can change this whatever parameter okay and you can see this is like file uploader now i can select any file okay so let's say this file and again these options so if i build now okay right now we are not accepting any of these uh, values right so okay it got passed but it's not doing anything because obviously we have not received these parameters how we can do that as i showed you in the documentation if you're using windows you have to use uh, percentage percentage right so let's try with first one as of now i will do echo so click on add build step and you can use execute windows batch command or execute shell or execute groovy it's totally up to you where do you want to use these values so click on execute windows batch command now i will be using echo so basically i just want to print the values that we are getting from these parameters okay so the first parameter is browser so i will just say echo percentage browser percentage now let's do second echo second echo is your status okay so i will just come again echo percentage status percentage in a similar way you can just get all this so let me quickly add all of them uh, maybe i can take the path echo percentage path echo and let's take this one as well username and the second one is password okay so let's say this is your username i will quickly copy this and i will just say this is password so password let's click on save again click on build with parameters if you want to change certain parameters let's change this time i will change this to firefox and i will uncheck this file i can give any file so let me give this uh this file and then username i will say jenkins new
click on build and let's see it started click on this console and finally it's done so you can see it's giving me eco firefox because we selected firefox right then we have selected like and we have unchecked that option right so it says eco false then basically it is giving me that uh, file which we have uploaded which is this and it has simply given me the eco which is username and now one thing which you notice that since we have done the eco it is giving me the password which i have entered but when you use maven build or gradle build right and if you pass this password parameters it will not show you while running your maven build and your gradle build since we have purposefully done eco so it is pending but this is the advantage of parameters that first thing like while building it will not display that what uh you know password that you're entering plus when you run maven and gradle build it will not show you in the console log okay so now let me quickly just arrange them so that should look neat and clean so maybe i will just first drag and drop this username on top maybe after that i will just rearrange this password yes before browser yes so first is username second is password then browser then this uh, boolean parameter finally file uploaded so it will look something like this now okay so as you can see now how easily we can do that so before we end this video i just want to highlight that when you're using windows batch command which we have seen just now you will be using percentage that uh, parameter name and percentage but if you're using invoke top level maven uh, you know commands or if you're using pom.xml file and if you're passing parameters then again you have to use dollar just keep this point in mind so that's all for this video guys so in case if you're new to this channel then make sure you subscribe to this channel share with your friends and if you have any other doubt let me know in the comment section and i will see you in the next video have a nice day bye bye